Um, we're going to start with Bukhari, because it starts with me. Um, so off we go Bukhari. Why should you be the successor of Rahim? Uh, I cannot do a Russian accent. <laughs> <laughs> or I can do a French accent. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was born and bred, uh, my moustache is falling off. <laughs> I was born and bred in Moscow, the heart of Russia, the Sobekia. Uh, my parents were primary school teachers. I am very, 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 very educated. Um, I was involved in the attempted revolution in 1905 at the mere tender age of 16. Uh, also, I joined the Bolsheviks in 1906. Just a year later, um, I wrote the book Imperialism and War Economy. I'm editor of Pravada and many, 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 said that I was the most valuable and major theorist. I'm rightly considered the favorite of the party. I am a scholastic nature and I am the golden boy. My last name means man of steel. And I have been on the Bolshevik Central Committee since 1912. I am very close to Comrade Lenin, and in my time I have done very much for this party. That is all I have to say. Every single one of these members will no doubt have something to say on their different opinions. And none of them ever spoke up when Lenin was alive, except for me. Even when people will say that I am not a true Bolshevik because I was a Menshevik before, well, I am a greater man now because I am a Bolshevik than I could ever be as a Menshevik. I believe that if this leader must have a great leader, I must be that leader. As I was a true friend of Lenin, not some mere comrade, I was a true friend of Lenin. And I will be honored to follow in my dear friend's footsteps. To put this burden on my shoulders and start and end the struggle that he started so many years ago. But I am happy with Lenin's dying wish. For if this committee is willing to have this country run by a committee, I am happy with that. I joined the party in 1905. I am one of the oldest members of the Bolsheviks. When Lenin was in exile, I ran the party. <laughs> I was organizing strikes, <laughs> and I can be trusted. Lenin sent me to London many times uh, to spread communist and socialist ideologies. Thank you. This is all I have to say. I also joined the party in 1905 and with the OG members. Thank you very much. When Lenin was in exile, we ran this party, and you know we still stood here, so it worked. Thank you very much. I was there when the revolution happened, and yeah, I disagreed on the timing, but I was in there, heart and soul, ideology placed forward, and I agreed with it. I saw his ways. I was at the front line. I was commanding him. Lenin forgave us. So you should too, because if you don't, you're going against his wishes. And I mean, you guys are all such loyal Lenin supporters. You really wouldn't want to go against him, would you? To be honest, uh, since I, I started off, you had a uh, car who indirectly yeah, avoided yeah. my question, yeah, which was wrong yeah. and did fully answer it. Mm -hmm. You had someone who was just straight to the point oh. and mentioned their last week power. Mm -hmm. Trotsky's arrogance. Oh my god, this is <laughs> yeah. so fun. 
and then uh, the tag team between Kevin Neff and Sanofi. Yeah. Let's talk about them so we it cannot hear that. Yes. <laughs> 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 Which meant to Kevin Neff. Well, so I told you. Right, okay. So, so from that, yeah. who gave you the best answer from that question? That would be difficult yeah. for you. I would like to squeeze every penny out of the peasants, but then you could argue that was a capitalist view, mm -hmm. because it was quite an Americanist. Mm. <laughs> And it's a bit unrealistic, whereas the Trotsky's view of getting mm. revolution right. and kind of his argument about how if it didn't succeed with Lenin, why should it? It was temporary, and we should go for a full wide worldwide revolution. So I think that was. Good right, okay, so Cameron Evans and the Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah they were sort of the voice of what the government, but, so he has effect. So in terms of his role, he's embedded into the party, he's been there for a long time, he's very committed and loyal to it. Couldn't we say the same for Zoom and Cameron? Yeah, they always do things together. Mm -hmm. And we're looking for one leader. Right, so we think those two are too much of a sort of a team. Yeah, and they couldn't, you wouldn't necessarily have one single vote. And so the vote did go three to one, and they chose the star.